the AFL beckoning for the Blues on Friday night. They just want to maybe keep him up their sleeve. No Lockie O'Brien either. Fogarty pokes the kick and Marty Hawes being the other part of Williamstown's Department of Defence in the early part of the season. They're the two players that are just magnificent with their intercept marking. McDonald and, and Hoare. Terrible oh. kick. <laughs> Absolute shocker of a kick. Fisher, can he make the bins? De Koning, the wind will grab that and send it towards the car park. So it's really important for the Carlton, Ford line and McDonald, those intercept marks, which they're so good at. So it'll come to no surprise to anyone who's a fan of 7 VFL's match of the day. It's very, very windy here at Williamstown. De Koning <laughs> read it well across the front, couldn't bring it down. Kemp, and maybe the Blues can counterpunch here. Kemp goes long and wide, but it's Williamstown with numbers back. This is Marty Hall. Who slices it wide. So now Murkoff got the volleyball arm to it. Cowan. Spiralling ball. It bounces on that hard cricket pitch centre. Or wide for Griser. 100 game. Former bomber spun on himself in the end. Hall versus Crocker. Spillage. Pritchard. Griser. Hall are involved. And another entry for the goals. Too much on that kick from Hall. These boys have got uh, eight to nine first round draft picks. So they have a lot of talent. And, and I said to our boys, you know, in these conditions, I'd, you know, our talent is our competitiveness and our ability to be able to hunt and chase and, and just create that for uh, long periods of the day. And they're doing that really well now. Justin, some sad news for the footy club. Can the Blues respond? Fisher into the short sleeves in the second term. Kick over the head of O'Keefe is picked off by Marty Hoare. Seventh touch for him coming up. Hot prospect for the mid-season draft coming up May 31. Chance for him to get back into the AFL system. Here's another who's got second term. And the kick to handball ratio. Seven handballs. Carlton this quarter. Six kicks. Marty Hoare up in front. Lemmy receives the handball. He gets taken to ground. Flight and turned around and turned his back on it. The, the, the pick up and kick from Caddy was brilliant. Couldn't have done much more than that. So Marty Hoare has it at half back. Danger time here for the Blues. They're trying to hang in here. Not conceded. Do it. Do anything structurally different in the last seven or eight minutes of this quarter, knowing that another couple of goals would be vital? Uh, it's a good question. Does keep it low. It's missed everything. But look at the wind just rip that. Jeez. Opportunity goes begging there for the Blues. They trail by 10 points. This, These remaining seven, eight minutes, whatever we have left in this second term, Absolutely critical. Williamstown want to try and build on that lead. Try and get into a position of dominance in, the, in this game. Free kick for a hold. Advantage will be paid to Honey. In from the side. Guess who? Marty Hoare. Hand McDonald continuing to deny Carlton at every opportunity. Ninth touch coming up for Tom. Kicks to centre half forward. Can Crocker get across? He won't be able to get there. And once again, it's Marty Hoare. 12th touch for him, 6th mark. It's perfect conditions for a, a guy like Marty Hall who de can defend one-on-one -on -one really well, but... You're very hard for the Blues, you'd imagine. Bin shapes it wide. Caddy, he's had his moments with a goal with his first VFL kick. He's got Hoare after him. Great dexterity and agility there from Caddy. To Koning. High launch. Hall trying to get back. Will fist into it. And across the line. Up it towards Ramshaw. Taken by Cowan. Tumbles it inside 50. Crocker can't get back. Hoare again. And now a chance to counter punch through Mitch, Mitch Cox. Gets a bad bounce. Benjamin Premiership player Josh Caddy showing a lot of Uncle Josh's traits. And Quay's gone forward. So he's spent the first half playing down back. He's been thrown forward in a move that hopefully can hit the scoreboard. Just want to provide more aerial presence yep. up forward. Get it to ground. Or mark it himself as Hall to Koning. Okay, it'll work here for Honey. He hoists it high. Ooh, got to come to ground. Murkov in that contest, fisted away by Hall. It does come to post. The set shot that, that went far right out of bounds on the full and then that. So he, he's a guy that can be a match winner, but he hasn't taken his opportunities to serve. 5 13 this season. It's just, he just hasn't had it in front of goals this year. 121 109 in his BFL yeah. career coming. Got themselves back in front, but they need at least three more, you'd think. Poor from the front. He will not be denied. No. So strong. Great gutsy mark, but that ball just has to come to ground. If you're a Carlton Ford, you've got to do better in that situation. Six intercept marks for Marty Hall. Tries to calculate where this kick needs to go. Brees takes it. The visitors scooping it up. Bins. 
Hall, intercept mark number seven. They're coming. No surprise where the kick's going. It should be easy to defend for the... Williamstown aren't allowing them to, the way they're setting up. Keeping it skinny. Almost off the instep there. Just Hall. got to come to ground. Mate, it's eight. This is extraordinary. And is it time to move Brody Kemp as good as he is behind the foot? Is it time to move him inside 50 to get on the other end of that kick? Oh, I'd even throw to Koning in as a forward because at least he's a bigger body that can crash a pack. At the moment, the, the, the young forwards of Carlton are just getting obliterated in the air. So Cowan can open up the 50. It's low and flat. A quay over his head. It beats all comers and somehow still finds its way to Marty Hall. <laughs> He's kicked it out on the full again, but he wasn't even going for that ball and it found him. Sometimes the footy just follows you. It's by eight points. 24 and a half gone. Two more goals late in this quarter would make it very interesting. And Willie get one against the breeze. Horse kick. Murkov over the back. Ebbinger versus Kemp again having a huge role to play. But we all know where this ball is going. Every single person on the on the field should know. And they look at them setting up almost on the boundary. Sort the of big ruckman. Statue mode as <laughs> Hawes kick goes to where everyone thought it would. Down he takes the mark. He's been punches it back to O'Dwyer, whose kicks high. It'll drop vertical and move to the left. And Marty Hall has put on a marking <laughs> an in the quarter. He's even taking him from his own teammates now. There is a GPS tracker in jumper number three and the ball. Again, kick will work to the favour of Ebbingar. Kemp, who was originally... To, I know their job is to stay and get the ground level ball, but you need to un understand if, it's, if there's no one else there, it's your job. A la the Kemp 50 that led to the Mikhail goal in time on of the third. You feel like that kick from Honey will be another moment that the Blues could well rue. Watch your Fogarty have a kick off the ground. Hall took the ricochet, but couldn't get boot to ball. Off to Plowman. Guess who? Marty Hall, mark number 13. One of the great games of VFL footy I've ever seen from a defender. 13 marks, nine off Oppo boot. 23 touches, make that 24 now. It's Harvey work for the Blues. Need to be bold now. They trail by 13 points. That up and under kick. Guess who, Marty Hall? 14th mark, 10th off opposition boot. Bit of work it towards the line. Henderson, it's officially his pocket. Sees a lot of blue and gold and then kicks it into the ground virtually. Jolly to Hall. Trap. Cracking match coming in round 11. They visit Box Hill Saturday week. Two sides that are in crisp form indeed at the moment. And the Seagulls are 6-2. and two. Williamstown continue their rise back up the VFL ladder. They're squarely in the top four mix. While well, the Blues have dropped three straight.